Hi guys, thanks for coming back. Uh, this is the eighth in our series of messages, beginnings, taken from the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis 1 to 11 generates lots of questions, and so I've been taking questions uh, after each message, and this will be the last time I'll take questions when we move on to uh, Abraham and Isaac, Jacob and Joseph. I don't think people will probably have as many questions. So if you have any questions over this series, uh, and especially about what I talk about this Sunday, this would be your chance to, to ask. So uh, Genesis answers some of the big questions of life. So how did it all begin? God is the answer. Who created the universe? God is the answer. Why are we so important? Because God made us in his image. Why is the world so messed up? Because we sinned, and there's a Satan who is against God at every turn, is trying to stir up trouble in the world. Now today we come to Genesis chapter 11 and we learn why there are so many languages in the world. And, uh, but I want to ask you a question uh, today. So here's the question. Why did God confuse the tongues of the people? Uh, what did they do wrong? Now it's going to help you to look at Genesis 11.4. I think all the answers to what they did wrong is right in that verse. So okay, why did he confuse their tongues? And what is the reason? Why, what did they do wrong? Ha have that talk, and uh, then go through your journal, uh, pray for each other, have a good time, and I hope we'll see you Sunday. Thanks. <laughs> 